the black cutworm moth migration is um, worth paying attention to each and every spring. Uh, these are strong migratory moths that uh, uh, with the assistance of those strong breezes coming out of the south wing their way into the Midwest each and every year and when they find themselves uh, in the Midwest the females uh, typically begin to look for fields that are planted late uh, that have been tilled late uh, but most significantly look for fields that have uh, dense, lush uh, populations of winter annual weeds. And they go into those fields, um, they uh, lay eggs on those weeds, and eventually uh, when those uh, fields are uh, planted, uh, many of the surviving uh, black cutworm larvae will move uh, off those weed hosts um, onto corn seedlings. And corn fields that uh, are still in that uh, one to four leaf stage are very susceptible uh, to cutting. And if those cuts are made below the growing point, you can see fields that have uh, some very significant stand reductions on occasion. Most of the cutting typically will take place at night uh, on some days, if you have very overcast, dark, cloudy days, you may have some cutting uh, that takes place during the day as well. But growers are definitely encouraged to, to look for early signs of cutworm activity, which would be small pinhole uh, areas on leaves that have been removed by those very small caterpillars, typically in the one to uh, three um, instar stage. Once the caterpillars go into that fourth larval instar, they can begin to, to cut plants. So uh, pay attention to newsletter articles. Uh, uh, we try to alert growers in our pest management and crop development bulletin. Uh, there are some uh, certified crop advisors. Uh, there are some seed uh, representatives that on occasion uh, will monitor flights of black cutworms. On occasion, some local extension personnel will do the same thing. So keep track of local flights uh, and uh, definitely look for signs of, you know, leaf feeding in fields uh, and try to avoid uh, having plants uh, that are cut. That's, that's key. Rescue treatments only? You know, there are a lot of uh, insecticides that are very effective uh, and can be used as rescue treatments. And of course, we know that uh, the use of BT hybrids is, is commonplace right now. Um, not all BT hybrids offer the same level of protection when it comes to black cutworms. Some are quite good at providing protection against cutting, um, but it can be confusing. And a lot of times growers may not be real clear on what protection they have. Uh, obviously corn rootworms is, you know, corn rootworms or corn borers are the two primary insects that growers think about. I encourage uh, growers to uh, avail themselves of a very good resource. It's called the Handy BT Trait Table. It's put out uh, every year by Michigan State University and entomologist uh, there, Chris Defonzo. And if you just go to um, Google and type in Handy BT Trait Table, You'll get a very informative table that will enable you to really see if the hybrid that you've chosen offers black cutworm protection. Um, if the hybrid you've chosen does not, then you clearly are going to have to pay a lot more attention to the life cycle of this insect, how to scout for it, and potentially gear up for applying rescue treatments as needed.